I'm going to bet that nobody predicted that Milwaukee would introduce a compact debris separator at their 2024 pipeline event. Well, today we have it on the channel and I'm going to give you a quick yet thorough review. So let's go. Let's start off by getting a 360 degree look at this. As you can see, it's pretty simple design. All right, first of all, we have a nice carrying handle right here. And then in here is an expandable hose. So this end right here goes right here and that twists and it locks. And this will hook up to whatever dust you want to vacuum up. And then your vacuum hose will hook up over here. So this is the adapter right here. So depending on what size hose you have, you have that if you need it. And we also have this hose adapter right here. So I'll just give you a close up look of these right here. So when you put this one right here and there, let's say you have another Milwaukee wet dry vac and you might, if you do, you recognize this end right here that will go in right there. So the way this works, you hook this up to your tool that's making the sawdust. It pulls in here, it goes into this separator and up to 99% of the sawdust is contained inside of here. And then the rest right here, the air, goes to your vacuum. So you're not gonna clog up your filters or the fleece bag. All the dust is gonna stay in here, which is really nice. Over time, this is definitely gonna save you some money not having to maintain your filters or replacing the fleece bags. So you're gonna find out how this handle right here is very important, because what happens on this side right here, once this collects with sawdust, you're gonna lift this up and that door will lock in place right there. You grab onto that and then you can just shake out all the sawdust and then when that's all out you just close that lid again hook up your hoses and then you're off and running again so as you can see on this side right here this has that latch for the pack out so this can sit on top of a pack out vacuum or your pack out collection and also you can see this setup right here you might be wondering what that is so there's a couple different things you can do you can get a caster wheel kit for this that I'll have a link down below. I think it's right around 30 bucks for that. And there's four wheels and you can pull this right up near where you're working. And another thing you can do with this right here, this will lock on top of some of the Milwaukee vacuums. Let's take a look at how that works. There's these bars right here that allow you to lock different things onto. So this one, I'll just push those two that down right there. Push those two down and see that's, not going anywhere. So here's how this would work. You do a little switcheroo. So you take the separator hose right here and you would take the hose out from the M18 vacuum that locks in place right there. This would go right here. And then you could take the long hose right here and then bring this to the power tool. So now watch when I turn this on, I'll put it on low. The vacuum is pulling the dust through here, separates in here, comes back into here. Pretty simple, huh? So this is a really good solution right here, but let me show you another situation that might be even better, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Let's say you're someone who's into the pack out stack setup. So if you have either the two wheel cart or the dolly that rolls around with the caster wheels, this is gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to check out. So you can take the separator right here that locks into place. So I just picked up this Milwaukee two and a half gallon pack out vacuum right here. I did some research and I think this is the one that's gonna suit me best. So I'm brand new to using this. So the way this works, I think I'm gonna do a separate review on this pretty soon. So that hose, the storage right there, you'll see that's gonna be a little bit different than the two gallon. You'll see the exterior hose storage, which I think is really nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually put this one on the left side and then this one on the right side. So the way this hooks up, the two and a half gallon vacuum hose will fit in there. Just nice having this adapter right here because these are two different size hoses, as you can tell. So that locks in very nice right there. This one that goes with the separator, I'll just put there. And the way this works, when you hit the button, that's on low, that's on high. 
So I just wanted to show you on the two and a half gallon vacuum right here, if you're using this to work with a dust separator, you can see that would fill up fairly fast. Here, let me get better light. You can see this would fill up fairly fast with sawdust. And you can also get this accessory right here. These are the fleece dust bags. All right, here's a look at the fleece dust bags. So they just go inside here. So here's another way that you can use your dust separator. Let's say you have your pack out stack a little bit lower right there. You can lock that in place right there. You can stack this right here, the vacuum on top like that. So once again, this goes into there. This right here goes to your tool. All right, I keep explaining how it's gonna work in theory. Let's go ahead and bring my miter saw in and show you exactly how this works. All right, just wanna show you before we get started, this is never going to look so clean. So if you can see inside there, that is what the dust compartment looks like. So I just wanna show you, there's these two red tabs I just pulled back and that opens this trap door inside there. So in case you need to get in there and clean anything out, you do have access to that. And this door right here, there's a rubber gasket all the way around. So that will keep the fine dust out. So this is my favorite saw right here. I use this one the most. It's the M18 dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. And when I don't have a vacuum hooked up to it, I use this dust bag right here. This right now is currently filled. So we're gonna actually dump this out so you can see all the sawdust. We're gonna pull some of that sawdust in there. And then we're gonna do some test cuts with this right here in this setup. So that height right there works really well. So right there is 45 degrees that way. Right there is 45 degrees that way. You can see this hose right here. And right there at zero, so 90 degree cut. So you can see that just the way that expands, it really works well with this saw right here. All right, let's see how much sawdust we have in this bag right here. It's not completely full, but it's quite full. Keeps going. All right, that's quite a mountain right there. All right, let's go ahead and turn the vacuum on. We'll put it on high. See how this works? We're gonna make some sawdust with this two by six right here. Let me get this set up. And then for the very first time, I'm gonna use this battery right here. This is the new Forge HD 12 amp hour battery right here. Let's see how that works in this saw. Let's just give this one a try. Got fully charged. All right, let's make some sawdust. do 10 cuts. Four more. All right, there we go. All right, we still have a little bit of sawdust, but the majority is going to be in this right here. All right, so here's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and open the door. So if you can see in there, I think I collected a fair amount. Let's dump it out in this orange five gallon Home Depot bucket. All right, let's see how much sawdust we have. So this is the amount that does not go into your vacuum right here. You can see that's, that's quite a bit right there. So now let's take a look at the vacuum itself. So this vacuum is brand new. I just used it for a couple brief moments to initially see how it would pick up. So let's see what's inside. You can see the filter right here has absolutely nothing on it. Completely clean. So as I'm looking inside the fleece filter right there, there's just a couple specks of dust. Really no sawdust at all. So all that other sawdust would have filled this up in no time. So definitely liking that dust separator. Up until this point, I think I showed you all the features, but there's gonna be a little bit more you're gonna learn by seeing the specs on the box. So I showed you how this works with other Milwaukee vacuums, but it's also compatible with common wet dry vacuums as well. 
This is model 49-90-2200, an accessory only. So you have to provide your own vacuum with it. This has a three year tool warranty, and this comes with the dust separator, the six foot expandable hose, and the multi-connect adapter. So this is compatible with common wet dry vacuums, like I mentioned. So it fits one and a quarter inch diameter, fits one and seven eighths diameter, and fits two and a half inch diameter. And the specs right here, the fine details, as I mentioned before, separation efficiency up to 99%. The capacity is two and a half gallons. The hose diameter, inch and seven eighths. The hose length is up to six foot. The length is 16.2 inches. The width, 9.8 inches. The length, 12.9 inches. And the weight, 7.3 pounds. All right, so here's a quick question of the day. If you had this set up right here in your shop or garage and you're making sawdust, what power tool would you hook this up to most frequently? For me, I mentioned the sliding compound miter saw, but I'd like to hear what you have to say. So please put your comment down below. And one last thing, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, which really definitely helps support the channel. That's it for now, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. As always, I appreciate you watching all the way to this point. If you want to see some other Milwaukee Pipeline event videos, I have a playlist right over here that you can check out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I have a lot more videos that are going to be coming out very soon. So you can click that button right there down below.